can you tell I need a haircut soon? Problem is with the way the weather is over here, it's absolutely freezing and it's kind of good insulation. Anyway, sip and, sorry, snack stash. Owen, Owen's got the sna sip and snack sorted. Um, although it is more of a sippy variety. Uh, because, mainly because uh, having some earlier days meant that I've missed some of the things that I need to later on in the evening. I'm using this as an excuse to get some coffee in me. Because uh, we're going to try these. <clears throat> we have Jimmy's Ice Coffee. We've got a couple here. They have got smaller cans, but I'm going for the ones that look like milk churns, mainly because they're bigger. So we've got the original and the the mocha. Uh, we'll start with the original because it's the easiest. 62% uh, semi-skim milk, your Arabica coffee beans, uh, some Demerara sugar. Once open, keep refrigerated and drink within two days. These have just come out the fridge. So in that respect, we're good. <clears throat> oh, it's quite fizzy. Get a little bit of that ASMR opening of the thing. Yeah, it certainly smells right. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, that's good. that's some good iced coffee. It's not as iced as it could have been, because it has been out of the fridge for sort of like 10-15 minutes while I was getting everything set up and everything, but yeah, it was a... As an ice perker upper, that's pretty good. Uh... I picked these up because they were reduced. Um, not sell by date wise, it was more of a special offer. I think the shop was selling them usually for two pound, but they were down to one twenty-five, and it's a two hundred and seventy-five mil can, so it's pretty, pretty chunky. Probably like a somewhere like a regular cup. If, I mean, if I have a look at these big cups that I've got from McDonald's, they're about 400 mil, so it's probably about the size of a regular. So the mocha, uh, the only difference here is slightly less skim milk, but in its place is a little bit of chocolate powder and vanilla flavouring. So this should be down my street. Uh, let's put this here, get some ASMR hissing and clicking. See what this is like. Oh, yeah, it's a nice, rich chocolate taste, and the vanilla. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to finish the rest of them. A short but a sweet one, literally, because it's Denver era sugar in these. So yeah, um, if these are about wherever you are. In the UK, they might be available internationally. I don't know where are they. From, where are they from? Oh, Germany. <laughs> oh, hang on. No, Dorset in the UK. It's just it also has a Midlikastrasse. It has a German address on it as well. So I think it's British, but with that Munsterland. Mid Lierkastrasse 7. I can't remember what 7 is in German because I never did it as a modern language. Answers in the comments. How do I say 7 in English slash American, whatever you want to say? But I certainly recommend those. Um, other stuff coming from me. Uh, I'm aiming to get the Stranger Things done soon. Also, um, my thoughts on Fortnite, 
as we apparently wrap up uh, chapter two and we move into chapter three because I played quite a bit, got a few wins. I don't know whether I'll put that on sort of one of them that I've got saved in the background, which reminds me I need to get those uh, lifted before they disappear forever when the season shuts down. So I've got to locally record them. So yeah, bunch of that stuff. Uh, hopefully another McDonald's Christmas one, as I previously mentioned in the other video as well. Um, yeah, all that from myself uh, should be coming over the next few weeks, depending what the schedule is in terms of uh, how these are going up. We've got AJ's movie reviews, quite a lot of big ones obviously at the minute, some awards contenders and obviously... Some of the bigger ones, like the West Side Story remake, Spider-Man, uh, Matrix. Uh, I don't know whether The King's Man is coming out in America this year. It's certainly coming out over here in the uh, the Christmas... The Christmas... I think well, it's coming out Christmas Eve because uh, they're not releasing it on Boxing Day. Because that's a Sunday, so... When they traditionally release, so whole load of them uh, to be looked at and then Owen with uh, his sip and snacks uh, his unboxings of uh, figures and uh, wrestling related stuff and then wrestling content coming hopefully early next year again or mainly focusing just on AEW and uh, probably GCW Although other indies will be stuff, and then if there's if there's major things that need to be discussed, possibly involving WWE, I'll hope to amend, you know get a little bit in. But to be honest, WWE and NXT are a shadow of what they were. Anyway, that's another video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoy content like this, check out the other content on the channel. Subscribe if you wish uh, to be uh, kept in the know, to be kept more in the know because YouTube's notification system is sometimes rubbish. Click on the bell, uh, like or dislike, comment. I don't know why I said dislike because apparently the numbers for that don't exist. So it will just it will just say dislike. You won't know how many people dislike. I probably will, looking at the uh, analytics. Then I'll be depressed. Anyway, I'm back to my coffee.